Now, one last thing that I wanted that I want to share with you. Let's say your first inclination, okay, I'm done with my comments, I'm a client, I'm going to save this and send it back to the, the designer. Well, if it's just like a small PDF, like a couple of megabytes, awesome, that works great. But let's say this is a 50 megabyte PDF and you know that your email, your email has a size limit on attachments and your clients uh, or your designer has a size limit on attachments for their email, how do you how do you easily get this back without going crazy and signing up for a third-party service and FTP and blah blah blah? This is a, a great a great way to, to go. You don't have to send this PDF back to them first. We're gonna save it. We'll just we'll just stick it uh, we'll stick it on the desktop because that's where I stick everything. <laughs> it's my holding place. Okay, we we'll stick it on the desktop, and now. We're going to go to comments, export comments to data file. And again, stick it on the desktop. Now you'll, you'll notice here it says FDF file, which is different than PDF file. Okay, I'm just going to close out of that. And then I'm going to go back to that first PDF where we started and there's no comments. No comments in it at all. But so this is how I'd get it as a designer. I'm you know I've got my sent the PDF off to the client. They sent me their comments back. Oh, I did forget a step in there. After you after you export that little FDF file, stick it somewhere safe and email it to me. That's the file that I want, that little FDF file. So now that I have that that I have that back. I'm just going to go to comments, import comments. I'm going to click on that little FDF file. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Boom! All of those comments that you spent so much time making, you can I can just import them right back out. And that little FDF file is just a few K, maybe like 12K. Mm -hmm. It's going to fit in any email program, and it works great. And what's what's so fabulous about this is those little comments, they they have all of the same properties as they did when you were looking at them on your end. It has the name, it's got the color, it's got all the right text selected. They all pop right back into the same page where they're supposed to be. It's um, it's just a tiny little data file, but it contains all of the changes that you requested, and so. If you have size limitations on your email program, you can just export that little FDF file and send it to me, and um, we'll bypass all of the, you know, if it takes 20 minutes for the file to go out of your email outbox or, you know, any file size limitations where, you know, the email doesn't get kicked back for three days and we miss a press deadline or something. Um, so we can avoid a lot of, a lot of problems with figuring out how to transport comments back and forth by just using the the export to data file and then I'll import it on my end and um, it'll just be it's a really smooth workflow and so if you have any questions about this video um, leave a note in the comments and I'll, I'll answer them for you and um, I am so excited that you are learning how to use PDF comments you're gonna love them Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.